Hola, JB Navy. It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And today we are going to be doing a booby update. So, as some of you guys know, I mean Starburst. I love Starburst. Like, what? I can't even not eat it while I'm talking. That's crazy. Um, I'm eating the pink one, and I'm eating this like I don't even know what color this is, but it's like an off pink. But this one is good too. It's like a blush pink. So, I got my boots done in August. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm, 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 mm. Starburst down. All right. So I got my boots done in August. Um, I'm going to answer some of the most common questions that I really didn't get to answer in the video that I posted. Um, because my camera had died in certain situations. I was trying to vlog the whole process. I vlogged. My consultation day, I vlogged the surgery day, and I vlogged like my healing process. So it was a lot, and I didn't really get to answer a lot of questions. Okay, so um, I went to Dr. Fardo here in Alpharetta, in Georgia. Um, the staff is amazing. Um, the place is called the Swan Center. Um, the staff is amazing. Like from the time you, from the time of your consultation all the way up to your surgery, everybody is just super duper nice everybody is there for you i mean everybody from the receptionist to the nurses to the doctors dr fardo is the sweetest man in the world he's so sweet girl i thought he was flirting with me and i don't think he was i think he was just being nice to me but i took it as flirting he was just being nice but still dr fardo is so cute okay he's a cute little white guy a little older white guy and he's so nice he's so caring and um all the way up to my surgery day, everybody was amazing. Everybody was very, very nice and professional. Um, they answered all my questions for me. Um, they even check up on you after the surgery and they continue to check up on you even afterwards. Um, so about my boobs, um, they let me try on a 400cc, a 375cc and a 500cc. Um, and I was gonna go with the, my first original thought was to do the 375 because, all right, my boobs, were after my child my boobs were kind of low like kind of low so i wanted to do the 375 because in my head when you think about getting boob surgery you think about the boobs that you want not what you need so my boobs were kind of low and so he told me that the 375 wasn't going to fill up like the sag that i had so the 400 filled up you know the excess skin and the sag that i had but i was so scared of the 400 because the 400 implant looks so big you know outside of your body but once i got my surgery done i can honestly say i'm very very happy with my 400 cc's and these are 400 cc high profile i think that's what they call um i think and i also got under the muscle under the muscle i think under the muscle is the best way to go when you're getting your boobs done um i have silicone breast i do not have saline so i have silicone 400 cc's high profile under the muscle okay one more time Silicone, 400 cc's, high profile, under the muscle, boobs. Okay, I wish I could show you guys a little bit more. This, I think that's like the lowest I can go. They are beautiful, they look. This is me without, you know, pushing them up. They are beautiful, they are perfect. And I wanted my boobs to have a little bit of a drop. So I wanted them where they are. Like, I didn't want them like this. I didn't want Barbie boobies. I wanted, you know, natural kind of boobs, looking boobs, so. I got it done in August so and we are now in January and they feel great they look great there was um okay so my healing time was two to three weeks you're not supposed to do any lifting any going over your head because you will be sore in here pulling this muscle so you're not supposed to like go over your head and pick stuff up and stuff like that um what else when I got out of surgery, there really wasn't no pain at all. It just felt like a midget or a baby or a small person was sitting on my chest. I just felt pressure. It just felt like this, like something was pushing down on my chest. There was no pain when I woke up. I was completely fine. I didn't feel nauseated, sick or anything. I felt tired and I just felt like pressure on my chest. That was it. There was no pain. On a scale of one to 10, how was the pressure? I'm going to say the pressure was like a, a five. Only time I ever felt pain is when I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing, which is like reaching for something using my arms too much because they really want you to keep your arms by your side and um, lay down basically you cannot lay on your chest you cannot lay on your stomach for a while 
Um, I didn't lay on my stomach on my chest for like, I didn't lay on my stomach for like basically almost a month, which is four weeks. It wasn't really that bad. Um, the cost of the surgery was, I think my surgery was around $7,000. Um, they do have payment methods. They have payment plan where you can get care credit. If you have pretty decent credit, you can get care credit or you could just pay for it in cash. And I think they have a payment plan where you can pay for it, like put a deposit down and start to pay on it. And then when you're done paying on it, you can go ahead and proceed with your surgery. I think they have something like that. I love them. I really, really do love them. Um, it has boosted my confidence. Um, I got this done not because I'm a dancer, but I got this done for the simple fact that I used to order shirts and I used to forget what my boobs look like. While I'm online looking at certain shirts, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. I want it, click, enter, ship. And then when it get here, I put it on, I'll be like, I forgot, I forgot my boobs are horrible. I'm gonna show you guys a before and after picture of my boobs right here. Yes, that is what my boobs were like before and this is what my boobs were like after. And here we are now with the final results. And um, I don't know, they tell me that you should really get these redone every 10 years. Not really sure how accurate that is, but um, yeah, I think every 10 years you are due to get your boobs replaced. So I rate the Swan Center a 10 out of 10, okay? And I don't rate things 10 out of 10, but the Swan Center, I give them a 10 out of 10. Um, Dr. Fardo, I give him an absolute 10. He is the best. He gave me even his personal number. He gives you his personal number even after after surgery. You can call him and contact him. He's just the sweetest man. And um, I really do recommend the Swan Center here in Georgia if you're not really big on going out of town or going out of the country. Um, that is the best place that I've been to and I absolutely love them. They did a great job. And just for a side note, please listen to your doctor, okay? Don't do not do what you want to do. You are not a doctor. Please listen to your doctor. If your doctor say you need something, please take his recommendation. Please listen to your doctors, okay? So that is all for this video today, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.